When Kelly first got here, her, her mantra was trust the process. Now, obviously, that's a two-way street. You guys have to learn how to trust her, and she has to get to know you. She very much likes this team. She's been complimentary of you all summer. So how is that trust the process process going? Um, I feel like trusting the process is pretty easy when you have a coach that's kind of like been there, done that, especially if, since she's played under the best coach in uh, college history. So. It's pretty easy to trust uh, what she's saying. Yeah, and coming from um, you know the point guard perspective, being coached by a point guard who's done you know one national championship three times, like that's just um, an amazing thing in itself. So to be able to learn from her and just trust that you know she knows what she's talking about because she's done this, um, it makes it easy to trust the process. Chloe. Um, I think it's just a good testament to see, um, to show like how hard everybody's worked. Um, it didn't just like come to our hands, like people worked hard for it and um, we compete in practice. Um, we push each other every single day. So I think it's good. It's, it's a good honor, but uh, we're still focused on like the actual season and getting better every day. Yeah, I definitely, I'll second that in saying that um, one through 14, like we're going to compete every single day in practice. and. It's just been an exciting group to be around. Like from day one, we just gelled and had great chemistry. So just to see all these awards going out was just a testament to how hard, um, like Ray said, we've been working in practice, that they've been working in practice and on their own. So it's just great and we're excited to get this season started. Take a question from Cora here on the right. Um, as to you know, the veterans on this team and, and five newcomers this year, how have you guys both kind of approached you know, building that team chemistry and, and really getting everyone ready for the season? Um, I'll go ahead. Honestly, uh, this season has been um, one for me that's a little bit different. It's gotten me out of my comfort zone. Um, usually leading style, my leading style is a lead by example. Um, it just kind of goes with my personality. But this year, you know, coaches have pushed me. I've pushed myself to be more vocal. Um, and just, and it's not like rah, 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 like Coach Kelly always says, but it's just, you know, guiding them and if there's something that I can help them go through, because I've been in their position, um, just to help them out and just to try to lead them through different things. And I know that um, when I talk, that they listen, and when they talk, I listen. So I feel like we've built, you know, that trust with each other to be able to, you know, say certain things to each other. Just to, and we know it's coming out of love and coming out of wanting each other to get, be better and to be the best player that we can be. So, Brian, so oh, Ray, right? Kelly said can't replace for nine days with one player, but you were kind of the number two option last season, getting the preseason accolades now. Do you feel pressure uh, to kind of not do everything she did, but to be kind of become a number one scorer on this team? Um, yeah, there's a little bit of pressure, but I feel like I just need to play my game. And I'm not, I'm not looking to force anything, just letting it come to me. And I feel like I need to focus on being a good leader for this team too, whether that's scoring or just vocally showing um, how, how to be a good leader. So. There is pressure, but I mean, I trust in myself and my teammates to um, keep me level-headed and to be a good leader. Second row on the left. Um, the last two seasons have obviously been COVID-altered seasons, um, so that means that you're, uh, you two as uh, seniors are some of the only players that have seen a regular season um, um, outside of the pandemic. Um, just how important do you think it will be um, guiding the younger players who have never seen a season like that uh, this year? Um. Well, I, since I wasn't here uh, pre-pandemic, um, I guess I'll let Ray yeah. take this one a little bit. Um, I'm actually excited for them. Like, just our fans are amazing. So for them to be able to experience uh, t Thomas Bowling Arena like when it's filled, I'm excited for them. Um, so I think I think it'll be good, and I'll just <laughs> lead through um, just playing, I guess. <laughs> Back right, Kellyanne. Hey guys, this is for both of you. Is there something you have been individually working on to help better your game for this upcoming season? If so, what is it? Um, for me individually, one thing I've been trying to work on is my um, shooting, just being able to catch and shoot, as well as just the confidence. Um, you know, to, when I catch the ball, knowing what I want to do with it, knowing um, whether I'm going to make you know a pass or a shot or make a play for somebody else, just my decision making. 
um, and shooting has been like some of the things that I've been working on. Uh, I think for me personally, just being a vocal leader, because uh, before I think it was more just by showing, but I think I just really want to show, like talk to the younger ones and show them that, you know, I can lead the team. And then also just like, I want to get my assists up and also um, continue to crash the boards and get rebounding. Maria? Question for Ray and then Jordan. Ray, I'm trying to ask you to go back and think about when you arrived here as a freshman. Now your senior year, well, number one, did it go quickly? And two, what would you go back and tell yourself as a freshman right now if you could? Um, yeah, I did go pretty quickly. It's crazy to think I'm already a senior. Um, but if I could go back and tell my freshman self anything, just taking advantage of all the um, just opportunities that we get here and the help that we get with food and getting treatment. I mean, as a freshman, you think you're just like, <laughs> you're untouchable, so you don't, you don't ice after practice. But now as I'm older, like, it's crucial for me to get an ice bath after practice. So just taking opportunities um, to just really uh, use all of everything that we have here. And then Jordan, how nice was it for you to get to go home and actually graduate with your sister yeah. back home now that this you know pandemic is, is eased up a bit? Yeah, that was um, an awesome experience. Um, so, you know, with COVID, like they do the virtual um, ceremonies and everything. And so first they did the virtual ceremony, but in my mom, she was like sitting there so excited, like ready for my name to pop up. And then it popped up, but it was the wrong picture. So then she was super bummed about that. Um, so, you know, they made some arrangements and we, it was just pretty special just for my mom to be able to see me walk across my mom and my family. And of course they were all there and it worked out perfect with our fall break. So that was amazing. Next question from Tyler, second row on the right. Yeah, for either one of you, Coach Harper talked about how well her coaching staff is sort of meshing together and enjoying working together. How well do you think the players are meshing with the coaches and how much are you enjoying playing under them? I would say we're meshing uh, really well. They came in, I feel like we got comfortable pretty easily. Um, they really help us when we're playing, just telling us little comments or just trying to just help anything individually that you need help on. So, And then they're also just really fun people to be around. So I think we meshed really well when they came in. Yeah, um, I'll say that as well. Um, in the spring when they came in, you know, obviously they were still like newer, but um, like the group of girls that we're with, we just meshed with them like off the bat. It was pretty cool um, how close we got in such like a short time. Um, and they're also, they're great. Like Coach Sam is so funny <laughs> on and off the court. Coach Joy, I love her. So it's just really been nice to have them around and you know, whatever they say, like can you take to it and you do it like, I, I don't know how to put it into words, but they're just really special people and I'm glad that they're here with us. We go Kellyanne and final question from Cora. Um, I think for me, I, I've really seen Jordy mature over this off season, just really get uh, a lot more comfortable and confident in her game. So it's been really um, fun to see her like really mature and grow into that upperclassman uh, shoes with, with her being a veteran. So I think it's really helped us as a team. I would say that as well. Jordy has uh, matured and just watching her in the past couple of practices, I was on the side with somebody and I was like, wow, like Jordy is really doing it right now. but. <laughs> So yeah, she's been looking really good. Um, as far as like a transfer or a freshman, uh, I would say Snoop has really come in and she's made the transition too, um, as well as Sarah. She's uh, just like a, a playmaker. You give her the ball and you know she's gonna make a play with it. So I would say her as well. I may go through the whole list, but Kaya, um, since she's gotten here, I've seen her, her game transition as well as BK. She's pretty vocal just as a freshman. So seeing her like, and you know, projecting it four years from now, it's like, wow, you know, that's gonna be really great for her. So I want to add Key into that list too, yeah. especially coming off of you know, ACL tear, just having to sit out and watch everything. She's really come in and made an impact just as much, not if not more, than she has last year. So it's been yeah. really great. Yeah, really, all of our newcomers um, have come in and make made strides. So yeah. it's actually been really nice and really cool to watch them do that. Cora. You guys have a you know, pretty tough home schedule this year, but you know, being able to have fans back in Thompson Bowling, you know, how excited are you to, to have that atmosphere with those big games you know, like Stanford? I'm excited. I mean, that's what you come to Tennessee for is those type of games. 
Um, and then it's just great competition for us just to see where we are as a team. And just I think no matter what the outcome is, we'll get better as a team every single one of those games. So, yeah, I'm excited. Um, I'm excited just to get against good competition and compete. Um, I know that our team is going to go out and compete every single night. So just to be able to play against teams like that is amazing. Um, I will say though, like last year when they were saying we weren't full capacity, I would go out on the games and like coming from where I came from, you know, a hundred people a night would be a great night, like a big night. So I'm coming out and it's like not full capacity and it's over a hundred. I'm like, okay, this is a lot of people. <laughs> but uh, so I'm really just excited to see it full capacity and see how that feels as well. Thank Ray and JoJo for joining us. They'll be available in about 10 minutes down at Pratt Pavilion with the rest of our team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.